Hey everybody, how are we doing? We have a species of wood here where we live. It's uh, it's pretty, it's one of the only places in the world that it grows. It's under the Madrona species. We call it Arbutus, some people call it Strawberry Tree, Madrona. There's one other name for it and I can't think of it right now, but I think Cherry something or other. But it's an Arbutus tree here is what it is. And it likes it about anywhere from about eight kilometers from sea level up in a certain area on Vancouver Island. Um, sorry, but this is it here. And it's, uh, I'm trying to categorize it with something you guys would have. It would be like a eucalyptus. Okay, like that's it's really tough wood, hard to split. Uh, never grows straight, you know, never is fantasy. It does grow once in a while straight. But anyway, this wood, uh, we took it down uh, a couple of years ago, it was dead. Uh, you should split this stuff when it's green, <laughs> if you can. This is not green, but I've got my old double bit axe here that I put a new handle on. I, I hung a new handle on it there uh, recently, actually. And uh, I actually, when I made it, because I used the, the little flick method, I'll show you, you guys know that if you know my stuff and watch my videos. Um, anyhow, uh, I put the head on and I shanked off one side of a cheek of the handle when I, when I, before I hung the head so that it would actually sit cocked on the on the handle a little bit it actually worked really good so it it it, it just naturally now kind of when it hits the wood kicks out to the side is uh it, it it's it's gnarly you gotta look for the cracks like it it's like a it's almost like fruit wood you know i gotta be careful i don't hit you guys so it, like I say, the axe, it naturally is a little bit bent. So, this is, and he gave her the wood. So we're splitting it for her. Because she's a cedar gal. So I know I'm a little farther away. It is raining a bit. That's going to be a tough one. No, it's all through that one. Yeah, that's going to be tough. May have to... There we go. Shank her off the side a little bit. Oh, look at that. Wow. Woo! Oh, we got her. Good. Closer. Wish I could put a hat on you. I don't think that's gonna happen though. It's not that bad. It's a Scottish mist, really. I'll just put you here. I can't guarantee you're not gonna get hit with rocks. There we go. So again, I don't. I don't use. Chopping blocks, you lose your, you lose your velocity, big time. You lose it. Look for the crack. This Arbutus is tough, very tough. Love that sound. here she's gonna be a bear I don't know if I'll get her look at it beautiful stuff and you want to talk about BTUs in this wood heat oh spectacular even in a fireplace you'll notice it I remember one year I was burning fur and uh, in the fireplace which you know a lot of the heat goes up the chimney right but in front of the fireplace doors you could notice the extra heat coming off this stuff I'm not kidding you it's, it's it burns hot 
if I'm not mistaken, there's a, a stove company called Pacific Energy, local here in our in our part here. They won't, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me. I don't think I don't think they'll guarantee your stove if you're burning straight up Arbutus. I just don't think they will. It burns it out. That's what I heard. Now don't quote me. But if you're a vigilant person and you want to find out, just Google it. Because <laughs> Google is amazing that way. Look at this big thing. Man, oh man. Oh, that's a nice piece of wood. Hey. Ooh. Come on, you. There she goes. Got it. Hey. Beautiful stuff. Woo! Oh dear. Let's make it. Look at this. Look at the twisted grain in that. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous wood. Getting a nice little workout here, my day off. You guys getting soaking wet? There, sweetheart. Take your punishment. I used to talk to the wood out splitting. You know, talk dirty to it. <laughs> if your wood's not splitting for you, talk dirty to it. Be dirty. See? It works. Huh? <laughs> Gotta make a spot and stand something up here. It's all turned into split firewood here. That's what we want. Woo, just about. She beat. A little twist of the wrist. A couple of smaller pieces. See that? That worked nice. Let's give her another couple small ones. They're nice when you're starting starting to start stuff out there. What is that? 14 minutes. See if we can get her done before the time runs out on the video. The GoPro only goes for about 17 minutes and 26 seconds. And then it's time for a new video, right? So that's kind of what happens. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's slippery. Let's get this axe handle a bit cleaner here. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what we got here. What do we got? Oh, still 14. Good. Can you guys see this? There. Okay. Guess what? It's done. She's done. Uh, let's stand her up. I'm liking this. Oh, look at that. Fucking Billy Ray. Very nice. Hey, guys. One last piece here. And the one, the one you're standing on. Hey, 15 minutes. Let's put you in the planter. Hey, look at that, right in the fuzz. Hey, come here, you. Stand up and take your punishment. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. What do we got here? That's it. Done. Okay. So there we go. Hard, hard wood. Okay. Very hard stuff. A couple little pieces I missed here. Okay. There we go. There's our rack still intact, new handle. Okay. You want to keep this as clean as possible here. That's why you want to do that flick. What's that? Oh my goodness, the sweat. You see, so I, I hung this head. Can you see it? It's a little bit cocked, so when it splits the wood, it automatically wants to. I love it. It's working really nice. I just took a little more off one cheek. 
This video is at 17 minutes and 7 seconds. Thanks so much for hanging around the wood pile. The double bit axe baby with the proper technique is a wonderful tool. Wonderful tool. There's a woman, barefooted, splitting woman. Check her out. She's groovy. Bucking Billy Ray thanking you. Over and out. See you in the next video. Ha <laughs> ha!